Did you expect to get quite this much work today? I, mean, I went into the day expecting it, but I, deep down inside, I knew uh, pretty much accomplished everything that they seen me do everything what I can do, pretty much. Talk about the excitement in a sense with the lights on, the wearing uniform. This is different than just spring I mean, practice. It's a different environment. There's people here watching you, and at the same time, it's family members that come away from home to watch, and just. The people coming out once again because we haven't played in a while, and just to have them there, the fans there <clears throat> to support. So it's a great feeling for them to come out and watch and support, give us something to play play harder for and work for. Jack said he wish he would have done the scrimmage a little bit differently. We're talking about splitting you guys up and possibly doing like a draft. How, how would you feel about doing that? I mean, that's something that he that he told me that he wanted to do. Um, I'm fine with pretty much anything um, as long as we go out and get work done. Does it help that it the first teamers everybody played together? Excuse me. Does it help that the first teamers and everybody played together tonight? Kind of give you a I mean, benchmark of where you are. I think everything worked out for the for the better, for the good. Because um, once the ones together, we all at one pace and we all know what's clicking at the same time. Um, it's a pretty pretty much same pace that we've been playing at all all spring. assess where the offense is at the conclusion of spring? Uh, I think we did good, but not great. And to be a national championship competitor, we got to do great and not good. So it's just something that we have to work on in the off season to get better at. Anything specifically you see that needs improving? I mean, so far, well, I think we just need to finish everything that we do. We just got to come out and finish. And that's the same thing turned over from last year. Coach Wallace said that he's seen an improvement and you making reads. Do you feel like you are where you should be at? I mean, I'm not satisfied. I'll never be satisfied. There's always room for improvement, but I think I came a long way and improved in a long way in my game and as a person overall also. Talk about Coley, how much he's progressed this spring. I mean, Coley came a long way. Um, before we were thinking maybe he's not the quarterback, maybe he should play receiver because he, he got the legs he got the legs of Pat, but <laughs> the thinking was is he came a long way and he gonna keep going and keep improving. Um Gino motivates him and he, we're gonna just go off that drive and whatever happens is gonna happen. If it's him or Gino. How about Sean Austin's performance out there today and what role he could have moving forward in the season? Sean's a great back, a great bigger back. Run low to the ground, lower than Clark. Um, I think it's gonna be uh, he gonna play a big factor of our offense, and we need a bigger back as far as in the red zone. So him and Clark in together, it's pretty scary to me. Two big backs. Just talk about that stable running backs behind you. I mean, you guys got a bunch of talent along with yourself. I mean, it's always good to have a good talent to back you up. It's just like when we, was, we were just talking about it. When, when I was in, we had tools that was also good that replaced and me. I replaced Steve. John replaced D-Ray. And that's something that we're trying to get back, the replacements in our second team, and just to keep it going. It's like we don't lose a beat. <coughs> Your just overall assessment of the spring this year? I mean, I think we did good, like I said, but I don't think we did great. We could have also improved a lot better than what we have, but we, I've seen improvement. We just had to finish.